Hello friends, welcome to day 92 of 100 Ways to Study Your Scriptures. I got this idea from my friend Cheryl and I'm excited to share with you the idea that you just randomly open a page of scripture and look for answers there and study just at a random spot. And I'm like, that is classic how to study the scriptures. And I can't believe I'm waiting till day 92 to share it with you. So I really appreciate Cheryl for sharing her great advice. Okay. So I, um, I didn't want to just open it randomly. Like I wanted to have a question in mind as I did that. So here's my question. How can I make my social media for my scripture journaling more effective? I said a prayer check. And then I opened to page 203 of the Book of Mormon. The reference is Mosiah chapter 28, verses 7 to 20. So here it is. Um, okay, so I was reading along, and then an interesting thing happened. I just want to show you. I just need to cover up a phone number here. Uh, so in the book, of course, it's brand new from downstairs. I thought no one had ever opened it before. So I quickly... It shut on me and I opened it and one of my children had written something in the front. So he wrote that there's great places to start. You can read the introduction, 3rd Nephi chapter 11, Moroni chapter 10 verses 3 to 5, and then pray to know that the things you've read are true and that the Book of Mormon is the Word of God. And then he had the missionary's phone number. I'm not sure if it's still the missionary's phone number or what, so I just will cover that up. And I thought, oh, that's a great idea for my uh, for my channel is to how do you prepare a Book of Mormon to give to a friend? So I thought, OK, well, I'm off to a great start. I've got a great idea for another uh, video. So I liked that a lot. And then I went back and what's happening in Mosiah chapter 28 is uh, the sons of Mosiah are going to preach the gospel to the Lamanites. They're going out into the world to preach the gospel. And I'm like, oh, that's, uh, that's, uh, Mosiah said, you know, go and preach because many will believe. I'm like, well, I'll just preach on my channel and people will believe. Many will. Many won't. That's fine, maybe, but many will. So I will, that will make it worthwhile. The next thing I read was he talks about how he had some brass plates and some gold plates from the Jaredites and how he translated the Jaredite record. And I was like, my channel is called Solid Gold Scripture Journals and the scriptures are gold. I think it's really interesting, actually, that they were written on gold plates because they're so precious and I really loved that idea and the connection there between my channel being gold and the scriptures being gold. And so I loved that. And then he talked about why he wanted to preserve the record. And he wanted to preserve the record because the people loved it. The people um, loved that they could get a genealogy and a history and receive knowledge and they rejoiced in it it was very joyful to the people when he translated the plates so for genealogy and history on my channel i can talk about the scriptures for knowledge i can share effective ways to use the scriptures i can share what i've learned in the scriptures and great joy i thought i like reading the scriptures it gives me a boost for my day. I do rejoice in it. So maybe on my channel, I can just be myself and have fun and show how the scriptures can be enjoyable. So those are some things I learned from a random page of scripture, page 203 of the Book of Mormon. So, hey, give it a try. And I hope you have a great day studying your scriptures. And I will see you next time. Bye.